Essay point number six. Levitical tithes were received by the Levites who were only servants to the priests. Levitical tithes were received by the Levites who were only servants to the priests. Why, you ask, is this so important? It is important because this biblical principle of tithing is not followed by any New Covenant church today. It is completely ignored as if it never existed. In the Old Covenant, God told the people to bring the tithes not to the priest, but to the Levites. And the Levites were only the servants to the priest. And the Levites, in turn, gave only one-tenth of the tenth they received, one percent of the total, to the priest. We read this in Numbers chapter 18, verses 26 and 28. Thus speaking to the Levites, you shall offer up even a tenth part of the tithe, and you shall give thereof the Lord's heave offering to Aaron the priest. Therefore the text clearly says that the Levites, the servants to the priest, had the tithe and they only gave to the priest a tenth of the tithe, one percent. We see this also found in Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 38. And the priest, the son of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites take tithes. And the Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithe unto the house of our God, to the chambers into the treasure house. This is clear, that the Levites took the tithes from the people. And the Levites gave a tenth of the tithe to the priests. And God's word makes it clear also that it was the responsibility not of the people but of the Levites and the priests to bring portions of the tithe to the temple as it was required. And we see that in other verses. The people did not were not required to bring the tithes to the temple. They brought them to the Levites and priests. Another thing we see in Numbers 18 is the concept of inheritance. An old covenant principle of tithing said that those who received the first whole tithe were not allowed to own or inherit property in God's holy land in exchange for receiving the tithe. Yet today, strangely, preachers won't the whole tithe that went to the Levites, they want the tenth of the tithe that went to the priest, and they also expect and often do own and inherit vast properties in stark contrast to the principles of the Word of God. Numbers 18, verse 20, God is addressing the priest. And the Lord spoke unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land. Neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part and in thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And again in verse 23, he's speaking to the Levites. But the Levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations that among the children of Israel they have no inheritance. Friends, where is this principle gone today? In the Old Covenant, if you receive the first tithe, you are not allowed to own or inherit property. Churches today want the first tithe, they want the tenth of the tenth, and they want to own and inherit vast amounts of property. They want their cake, and they want to eat it too. 